हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एजुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोस वी आर लर्निंग पावर पॉइंट एंड माय नेम इज नीरू वर्मा टॉपिक फॉर टुडे सेशन इज अरेंजिंग द ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड स्टार्टिंग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन इन पावर पॉइंट ईच स्लाइड्स मे हैव मल्टीपल आइटम्स सच एज पिक्चर्स शेप्स एंड टेक्स्ट बॉक्सेस and powerpoint let you arrange the object the way you want to align group rotate and order them in this session we learn how to align the objects across the slide how to group them and how to order the objects from front to back after adding object to a slide it may be necessary to arrange them so that object appear the way you want you can align group rotate and order the objects to create the desired arrangement proceeding further with the course goal we'll study about arranging the objects how to align the objects aligning two or more objects then aligning the object to the slide and how to distribute the objects e evenly then we'll study about ordering and rotating the objects how to change the order by one level to bring the objects in the front and to bring them back and to rotate an object then we'll study about grouping the objects how to group the objects and how to ungroup the objects starting with the arranging the objects the first operation that we are going to perform is aligning the object first of all i'll insert few objects here let me insert a slide first of all these are the objects suppose we have these four objects here and i'll make certain arrangement to show you that how we can group them ungroup and how we can arrange them the first thing we are discussing is arranging the objects and the first operation is aligning the objects so for aligning the object either you can do it manually that you can click on this and then try to place it on a location then again you can click on the second object and then you can move the position and you can try to place it here that how you can try to place all the objects and the second option is that you can do it with the help of the powerpoint command i'll show you how you can do it first of all you have to select all these objects either you can do it with the help of your mouse or you can do it with the help of the shift key keep the shift key pressed and then keep clicking on every object to select all of them now you can see the sizing handles here for all the objects these are the sizing handles to resize them now you can click on the format tab and here you can see the align command click on the drop down you can see a lot of options here to align the objects you can align the object to the left to the center to right top then align middle and align bottom these are the six options available so let's try to perform these actions one by one click on align left all of them are aligned in the left direction then click on center i'll do one thing i'll resize them first all right so i have resized all these objects just you have to do it with the help of the sizing handles you can make them small or you can make them bigger as per your requirement so now i'll show you how we can perform the operations select all these objects with the help of the mouse click anywhere and then select all the objects like this yes like this all of them are selected now click on the format tab click on align 
and you can go for the options like align to the left align to the center then align to the right right means it's going to use the right side that sizing handles then align to the top align to the middle and align to the bottom so by doing this you can align them wait you might be thinking that all the objects are moving and they are been overlapping so what is the use of it depending on the your requirement these can be aligned in a way for example let me select them once again yeah. all these objects are selected and we want to align them to the top so click on align and select align top they all are on the same position then if you want to click on align bottom then click on align bottom now suppose one of the object is placed here and we want to align all these objects to the bottom let's select all the objects now click on the format tab click on align and select align bottom yeah. all the objects are aligned in one line so whenever you want to place all the objects on a same line then you can do it we have some pictures here so we might not be understanding the correct use of it for example if we have some shapes or some objects for example suppose we have this shape let me make four copies of it okay now we have some same kind of objects and suppose we want to create some kind of chart or something in which we want to align them in a line so one option is that either i need to keep them in this way by doing it manually or the other option would be that i'll be placing them here and there in the random location then i'll be selecting all these objects like this and then click on the align command click on the align and then click on the align top all of them comes with the same line in this way we can try to align them to the top or to the bottom so that was about aligning the objects okay so we have discussed about the aligning the objects and aligning two or more objects in a particular fashion now we'll discuss about aligning the objects to the slide you need to select all the elements first of all select them click on the format tab and then click on align and align to the slide this option has to be checked i'll do that one yeah align to the slide this is already selected select this option and after doing it now again click on the align option and you have got a lot of options here from all these six commands you can select any command for example you want to do it align top click on the align top and you can see that all the objects are aligned in the top of the slide now once again click on the align bottom then that will move to the bottom side align in the middle that comes in the middle so as per the slide arrangement as per the slide they'll try to arrange themselves either on the top or on the middle or on the bottom so in this way you can align the objects to the slide first of all and after that you can perform these operation so these objects are going to arrange themselves according to the slide so these objects will align to the slide based on the options you have selected all right so that was about aligning the objects to a slide now next we'll discuss about distribute the objects evenly now for example you have arranged few objects in a row or in a column and you may want them to be equally distanced from one another 
Now, for example, you have certain objects on your slide as we have these square boxes and we want to align all of them on the equal spaces or on the equal distance from one another. So how do we do it? First of all, we need to select all these objects. Now click on the format tab and click on the align option. You have an option here distribute horizontally or distribute vertically. In this case, we will select distribute horizontally. So you can click on this and you can see that all of them are on the equal distance from one another. These are distributed in a way that the distance from one another is same. In the same way, if they are aligned vertically, we can click on the distribute vertically and they will be on equal distance from one another. So that's how we can arrange the objects. So that was it. That was about arranging the objects in different manners and in different patterns. In the next session, we'll discuss about ordering and rotating the objects. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Ajupedia World videos.